Hey guys, this is Mo from uh, WVW Fibernet, and today I had a little issue, and I saw that it's worth to share. What we have here in front of us, it's a Ubiquiti OLT, four ports, um, dual power. This unit was installed behind um, a UPS battery backup, so supposedly should be protected. Uh, it was a little spike today on power, and boom, the whole town went down. It's almost 3 o'clock right now. The power outages was since 8. No power yet. So I grabbed my generator to power my rack after my batteries get dried out. Find out that it is no power coming out to the G-Pons. Huh. But I noticed a few things that they were weird. The fans were going at full speed. And LED right here was blue, which is according to Ubiquity, that's booting session. It means the unit's still booting. So I waited, I waited, I waited, nothing moved in. And most importantly, I did not have no traffic either from one of these um, uh, SFP ports or from the 10 gig or from the management access so that means that the unit was stuck somewhere right so i went in i unplugged my i plug my console um cable the cisco console cable and then i went in and let me just start it first that way we can see what's going on here so the unit is gonna power great fans they're gonna blast at full speed We're gonna have the blue light, which it should turn to white, and then go back to blue once it's um, adopted by the controller, but as start is blue, then it should turn to white. What well, is not turning to white, staying blue. On top of that, the management port has just plugged in to this Ethernet cable, there is no traffic out of it. So by looking at the PuTTY output, I was noticing that we had a couple errors from the ECC, which is another word, the hard drive. It is not removable. It looks like it gets corrupted, maybe, or damaged. Um, I find out it was damaged because I uploaded the whole firmware again through the console ports. It took it, but then it could not read it. So there is a problem right there in reading from and posing all these and reading through all this. We will find out that um, the ACC cannot read from certain blocks, which is, it just tells me that the hard drive is messed up. So this is where the hard drive is located. That's the... Uh, MXIC chip. I find them for like 20 bucks, but I have to remove it and change it to the new one. So eventually this unit is out of warranty. So I have to pretty much take the whole loss of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and change the the ACC, which is the man a chip. It's a 4 gig, so that's how they do the whole thing. The whole unit looks like it's running a Debian, which is an open source. Huh. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to try to change that out, then I'm going to upload the firmware again and see what's going to happen. If it's a go, it's a go. If it's not a go, well, no big deal. That's not the first time, and it will never be the last. All right, guys. Well. If you run through the same problem, or if you find a, a solution for this, or if you think that maybe I'm doing it wrong, just uh, make sure to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.